guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me as always. I'm going to tell you a wee fly called the Bruiser. So I've had to put a, a, a new t-shirt on, a new tire if you like. Just simply, just to let you see the, the blue and the wee fly. And that's the wee pattern there. Just going to show you how to, how to put it together. Now the hook in the vise is a Partridge Patriot double in size 12. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in black. So we'll just come in and get started here. I'm just going to start my thread off a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Run on a few mil of thread, remove the waist tag. Now, you need blue wire for the tag in the rib. And this is just the, the ultra wire in blue that I'm using. Just catch that in underneath. And then just run on my thread down until I'm in line with the points of the hooks. Then I'm going to come round with five turns. Try not to catch the points of the wire. Bring your last turn up and underneath the, the hook. Now I'm going to keep my wire in underneath the, the hook shank here, folks. I just want to fold this back from a rib. So just taking wide turns. Then fold this back on itself. And then run our thread back down, tied up against the tag. Now the tail on the fly is just the this is just a blue, nice kingfisher type blue hand haggle. Could use cock haggle. I just use the hand because I think it's just a wee bit more mobile. So I'm just going to take two wee pinches of the hand haggle for our tail. I only want a wee short tail on this fly, so you're probably talking you know, right about the length of the body or so. A couple of turns will secure that in. Come in and trim away the excess and have a tapered cut. The body is just a large holographic silver tinsel. This is just the vanyard stuff. other companies that do make the, the large holographic silver tinsels. Now I'm just going to take a turn to catch it in and then just run my thread up and tying in all these materials. Then we're just going to come up with our holographic tinsel. We just want to get one nice clean turn going at the back of the hook here. Yeah, I'm just going to come back and retouch. And then just overlapping turns of the silver holographic tinsel. Now I had a word my, my blue t-shirt. You see you wouldn't have seen the blue. So the good lady's been good to me. She's got these, always got these t-shirts sort of way. Waist and then ironed. Now we're just going to come up with our, our rib and I'm making three turns of the blue wire up the body. Follow this around with my thread, a couple of tight turns to secure, come in and bend and break away the wire. Now the wing on the fly can be anything black, squirrel, uh, arctic runner, foxtail. I'm just going to use a uh, fin raccoon. And I do like the, the fin raccoon just because it's, it's lovely mobile fibre. The fin raccoon. Now we're not looking to go nuts with this, I'm just looking at a small amount. Trim that away. And you want your tail to be longer than your or sorry, your wing to be longer than your than your tail. Now I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Then come around with a pinching loop, a couple of tight turns to secure that in. Then we'll just come in, lift the excess up, trim that away. Just missed a wee bit there. Just going to bring my thread down over the cut ends and back up. I'm going to put some flesh 
into the wing. We're just looking two strands of silver crystal flesh. Now you, you use whatever flesh you have, you know, mirror flesh, UV, it's up to you. I'm just I'm just trying to show you the patterns, the way they're originally tied, the best that I can. And then you just can change them up because that's what fly tan's about, you know, somebody comes up with a great pattern. Somebody might see it a wee bit different or oh, money add that colour in and that's what it's about. It's, it's no big deal. Now we're gonna put a throat on. So we're going back to our blue hen haggle again. So just bring out some of the haggles from the stems. From the stem, sorry. Just pinch those away. I'm just going to offer this in underneath the hook. And you want the fibers that were coming back sort of way to the tag. If you like, if you like them longer, tie them longer. I'm just going to pinch this up and loop up the way. Secure that in. Now I like to spin it round just to see what way we're sitting. Bond that out with my thumbnail. And I'm going to come in, collect the hen haggle fibers, and trim those away. It's the excess. And then just bring my thread down over the cut ends. And just back up into position. Now there's jungle cock on the wee fly. It is required. You don't need it. You could, you could face that wee fly just the way it is. And it'll be grand. <coughs> so we'll just get our jungle cock. And we're just looking. We're just looking two small eyes here. I should have had this already prepared. Because it just speeds the wee, it speeds the videos up a wee bit sitting looking for stuff. Now, just got two small eyes. Just gonna show you them a second. There you go. Just gonna stroke back the, the fibers. And then just use your the eye of the hook as a divider. Offer them up to the hook. Just come round and hold them on the sides. Just gonna come round with a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're we're sitting. Gonna come back. This one on my side has slipped on me, so just want to get them positioned again. Always go back, folks. Don't I don't add it the videos because I don't see the point in it. I think you're better just watching it like as if you were going to watch it live. If you like, I just want to make sure that. These are the, to the same length on each side, which they are. And then I'm just going to tighten up. Fold the stems of the jungle cock back. And then we're just going to build up our head. Nice head on the fly. Don't be shy with the head on this fly. Nice black head. Keeping the thread tight. Coming in. Bring away the waist of the jungle cock. Now, just take another turn there. And then just come in and throw on a whip finish. Put your thread tight. Come in, trim away your, your tie of thread. Now just to seal the head up. Just the first coat on, super glue, but you don't want this running anywhere else. Just onto the head. Right the whole way right round. And then once that dries guys, I'll come in and just put on a, a couple of coats of varnish. Just want it running into the eye there. A couple of coats of varnish just to seal the head up. But there you go folks, that's the that's the bruiser. So if you fish for you know you're fishing in a river, if you're fishing here in Northern Ireland, most of the rivers will get, you know, um, particularly the ones on the, the barn or Loch Ness system. They'll get salmon and dolgan. So that's a good wee jewel fly sort of way to have in your box. So look, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Helps the wee channel out. It helps it grow and it also helps me just bring more content to the wee channel 
And until the next time, folks, please stay safe and take lanes. <laughs>